the prime cause of the genetic changes that underlie all cancer of the colon and rectum is the diet. The colon is prone to cancer because of the carcinogens in the stool and the length of the time the stool stays in the colon. It takes on the average about 36 hours for stool to make it round the colon. The colon's job is to process the stool in such a way that it's easy for us to get rid of and hold it until it's convenient for us to get rid of it. And so the stool stays in contact with the cells lining the colon and the rectum for quite a while, 36 hours. A lot of the uh, studies that have been done point to the fact that red meat and animal fats are prime causes of the genetic changes that produce colon and rectal cancer. And so it's wise to minimize our intake of that. There's also a suggestion that char grilling meat is a particularly bad thing to do in terms of making us prone to developing polyps and colon and rectal cancer. On the other hand, there are some foods that we should eat more of because they have a protective effect. Fresh vegetables, fresh fruits uh, have a lot of properties that will protect us against colon and rectal cancer. And so it's important for us to follow the American Dietary Association's food pyramid and make our diets heavy on the fruits and vegetables and less heavy on red meats and animal fats. Fruit and vegetables <clears throat> have an effect not only biochemical, but also by diluting the carcinogens because it gives us bulkier stool. And with bulkier stool, the stool spends less time in the colon because it passes through more quickly. So there are several different reasons why fruit and vegetables should be a big part of our diet. Exercise and uh, activity levels are important <coughs> to our general health but, and also for preventing colon and rectal cancer. So we know that colon transit, that is the amount of time that stool spends in the colon, is determined by, by several things, but importantly by our level of activity. So if we're very sedentary, we tend to be constipated. Stool spends longer time in our colon, and we can be more prone to developing the genetic changes that lead to colon and rectal cancer. Being active, doing exercise, will not only increase colon peristalsis and make our stool move through quicker, uh, but it will also help us to be less obese, uh, uh, which is another risk factor for developing colon and rectal cancer.